Hey, what is up, you guys? It is your boy, Insanian. Welcome back to this brand new reaction video. So today we're gonna be checking out some more BTS-related content. It seems that you guys also like to like that and enjoyed that. Uh, we're gonna be doing three songs. That's the format that I usually do. The first one is called uh, "Stay Alive" by Jungkook, produced by Sugar of BTS promotion video. This video is sitting at 8.8 .8 million views, was published on the 11th of February 2022 and has 1.5 million likes. Now, I don't know if it's the full song in its entirety or just like a snippet of the song. I guess we'll see. These three songs I've never listened to before, therefore it's going to be a first take, genuine, authentic reaction video. The first one is by the channel Seven Fates, Shaco by Hype, so I guess, I'm guessing it's also by Hype Labels. The channel was sitting at 1.25 million subscribers. The second song that we're going to be checking out is... Uh, Dadang, I guess, let me know how to correctly pronounce it. It's by BTS RM, Sugar, J Hope. This video is sitting at, sorry if I say video, by the way, I know the song is sitting at, but it technically is a video. Sitting at 150 million views, was published on the 10th of June 2018 and has 1.6 million likes. Plus, it's by the channel Jagucci, and I think that they have a lot of cool stuff that I can be reacting to. That channel is almost sitting at 4.6 million subscribers. And the last song is, uh, I guess, a solo song from Jungkook. And I'm guessing that he is like the most popular member, but I could be totally wrong. Like I said, I don't really know a lot about BTS. I'm starting to learn more. I think that they're a pretty dope group and they're widely popular. We know that. Uh, and I like to discover more. So please give me some background info. And even if I come with false info because I interpret stuff, let me know, correct me. I, al I always like to seek in with constructive criticism, advice, etc. I'm an open-minded dude. Anyways, this one is called Still With You by Jungkook. It's sitting at 117 million views, was published on the 4th of June 2020, and has 2 million likes. Now, I can unfortunately not make any more content today because I was way too busy today. I post around one video on average today, minimum, and two videos maximum a day. So today only one. Tomorrow is Friday, so then it's going to be better. Probably two then, all right? Um, yeah, make sure to follow me on my other social media platforms as well. I would appreciate that a lot. And for the guys who didn't really skip this uh, intro and just listen to what I uh, was about to say, thank you guys so much. Uh, I got my subtitles on. I got myself some uh, Coca-Cola. Like I said, thank you guys so much for listening. And without further ado, let's get right into this. Let's check it out. Stay alive. Now at the Bee Gees. There are boems pretending to be human. What are boems? Damn, looks like the future. They are big for a, lot, for a lot of reasons. I mean, they deserve to be big if you look at the amount of talent it appears to a lot of listeners. Uh, what I really like already is, first of all, the animation. I love the fact that they included animation in this, and considering the fact that they are so popular, they definitely have the budget to do that. Uh, so also, respect to the effort goes through all the producers and the people working behind this, editors, editors etc. I like the visuals, and even if there's some CGI involved, in it, I don't care. You know, uh, and even if it isn't, that's, that's even more impressive. The city looks beautiful. The stuff that, are that they're talking about is real, you know, but I really appreciate about a lot of K-pop stuff. And also just really uh, BTS, what, what they stand for is not, you know, uh, primarily about money, drugs, clothes, you know, it's not about that. This is about true, true stuff, real stuff, true emotion. I like that a lot. Um, the contrast between dark and, and the city lights, like I said, is beautiful. I like uh, just the entire image that they're bringing to the table. Really cool, really cool. Now, I don't know a lot about them individually, and I would like to as well, because that's what I also did with Blackpink. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I, I mean, I know RM, Sugar, uh, Jungkook right now, and Jimin, you know? Um, so for the rest, J-Hope, I know, 
I need to know their names I need to know I need to know more because honestly like I said I think they're dope all right and I've been watching a lot of Ali London so I really need to refresh my brain from cringe so please Bear with me, we're gonna have a fun time. I'm gonna let it play through, I'm not gonna pause anymore. This was one pause, and then share my thoughts at the end of the video. Our M look like a leader. Crazy. I want to close my eyes, but I want to see it as well. How? Oh. I'm not giving up hope. That sounds cool, yo. That sounds really cool. Official story film. Might have to check this out. Um, I see it's a promotion video, but I still don't know. I still don't really know the context. Uh, but I actually thought that it sounded really nice. Uh, and in this case, they didn't really include a lot of choreography. Not even, you know. So it just goes to show their versatility as well. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Dope, man. And did. But I. I really hope people who don't know anything about BTS, like me, I learn more from you guys. Uh, I for myself looking up info, to be factual, uh, that people don't think uh, of them as an image, but as a person, and just go by them individually, and notice the amount of work and effort that is put in it, you know? In terms of craft, in terms of work, why they are so popular. It's not only because of their image, it's because of what they do. I want people to remember that. Anyways, uh, this is that day. something completely different. In this case, not music videos. I will look at more music videos because I have not listened to like every BTS song ever. But if you guys seem to like this, then I can definitely do more. Otherwise, in my free time because I am really invested in this as well. Anyways, let's check it out. I guess that subtitles are needed really because... Uh, oh wait, this is, these, are, these are Dutch subtitles, so good that I see. But I already see subtitles here underneath, so I, I don't really need to, need to check that out. Right, let's get it. Don't beat already. Culture beat. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's a flexing song. It's a flexing song. We know exactly what this shit is. Let's get it. Yo, this beat is crazy! It's instrumentals are so fun! Oh! Hey! Dang! 
Dang. Dang. But wait, wait, wait. He says, mm, the way I see it, you guys are dang, or everything is dang. Now, I still don't know the correct interpretation of the word. What I first thought is maybe we are right, we are dang, we are right, and you are wrong. So it's the opposite of dang, but they don't show that. I, don't, I still don't know what dang is, but it is something original, something that I've never heard of before. I like this type of stuff. It's something that you also hear in a lot of hip hop songs, especially old school boom bap hip hop songs, braggadocious lyrics. Really fun, really fun, because you can have a lot of fun with it. And especially because they have the right to say this, because they do live that lifestyle and they do have those things. So the fact that you keep hitting like a loser, comparing, you know, your life as a hater, somebody who uses uh, your own frustration and insecurity to throw out on a person who's way more successful in order for you to feel happy, you know? Stupid, stupid. They know that they're better than you, and even on a hierarchy level, because that's the reality of life. Flexing my own hands. Dang. 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 Bill Bar, get it. Yes, yes, yes. This guy should let us go hard as shit. Calculator sound? Dang, I liked it when I was young. Dang. Damn. Yo, uh, in terms of instrumentals, like the last time that I reacted to, uh, forgot the name of the song. Anyways, it, it was a song where I asked if it was, a you know, Asian culture or at least Chinese culture. Like, if I said, because I have less filter because I, I speak on my mind. And the thing is, it, with a progressive state uh, that we live in now, in this generation, that is as soft as fucking vanilla ice cream, I cannot say everything is on my mind, you feel me? But I still am. But the consequences are risky. But fuck it. Um, is it Chinese culture? Just, is it Chinese culture? Is it Korean culture? Is it just... Asian culture, because I know people will get mad, but it's just genuine curiosity, and it's not, I come with good good intentions, so it's never my intention to um, offend somebody, really. Uh, what 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 type of inspiration is taken from these instrumentals, because I think that it sounds really cool, and it reminded me of something Asian, right? So let me know what it is. <laughs> This shit goes too hard, man. Add to my playlist. I am killing it. He's a good ass rapper. He's a good ass rapper. Facts. Facts. Where are your haters at? Wash your eyes and face and look in the mirror. There's your hater. Woo! Living and breathing. We celebrate more than celebrity. Ah! Orgasmic lyrics, bro. Woo! Yeah, this song is hot! Dang! Hot! Dang! Dang! 
Dang! That was Hold hot. On, Shut the fuck up. That was hot. Straight fire. Straight fire. That was straight fire. That was straight fire. I will be gay for them, so it's not gonna be straight fire. It's gonna be gay fire. <laughs> Ignore what I said. Yo. Yo. That was lit. That was lit. I love that a lot. Maybe even one of my favorite BTS songs that, that I've listened to so far on the real note because it's hypey, uh, they're speaking their mind, they're speaking facts, they're in their bag in terms of lyrics, in terms of instrumentals, in terms of everything, the beat goes hard as hell. It's just a fun ass track and they have all the right to say all that shit. Speaking of mind, that's awesome, man. I really, I really enjoyed that shit. Anyways, let's check out Still With You. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No subtitles. That was Dutch, by the way. Feeling this one. Woo! Woo! Who's playing the piano? Is this a sample? I'm hearing the rain in the background. It reminds me of Stamp from Eminem. These are vibey as hell. Already off the bat. Great vocals. crazy it's calm but yet again it's crazy his voice sounds hot so i bet he's hot as well for all my friends watching this I, I don't even care anymore i don't even care you guys have to accept my cringe all right that's what what good friends are for is it yeah oh he's he's obviously hot obviously i i actually knew how he looked like but i just had to make to make sure you feel me um if I didn't give these other ones a like, I will go back, you know, because I, I just forgot. Because I already told you, I genuinely like them. Um, I like his approach to the melody as well. Because he doesn't do a lot, but he, but he does just enough. That <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. So let's, let's listen to this and let's just vibe together. And he's even painting a picture right here. That's even better. Let's get it. Let's get it. Also kind of sad. He's talking about the struggles in his life. Living a minimalistic leap then again. Not having the wealth and balance to maintain a healthy lifestyle.
<laughs> I'm sorry guys, but this dude's vocals are top tier. Amazing. Amazing. I'm listening to this and I'm enjoying it very much. It's just that as the first time listening, I'm trying to catch everything or as at least as much as I can. Though I have to just let it be. I shouldn't I shouldn't have paused right here. But I'm just really enjoying it. So I just really wanted to say that right now. Alright, let's just listen. <laughs> This is so good. actually a really emotional song wow yo that was really good i'm not a fan of k-pop but this song is a masterpiece my mother has just passed away and i want to dedicate this to her jungkook has a great and soulful voice he is just awesome that's a perfect way to describe it first of all Great and soulful voice. And second of all, rest in peace to your mother, man. Uh, I cannot imagine that. Not a BTS fan, but even I gotta agree, his voice and was gonna be chills. I don't think I'll ever get tired of cookies. Cookies? Is that how, how people really say his name? Or like a uh, synonym? Especially the song. His angelic voice just makes my heart flutter. My boy definitely has it as an angelic voice. Listening to this, probably... This one is definitely, most definitely added to my playlist, along with probably like a lo-fi or a slowed version with more reverb added. Gives that more dreamy, magical effect. I could definitely listen to this uh, lots of times. So goes for Dedang, and so goes for the first one. Um, this one is still definitely a song that, that you can listen to when you're alone, perhaps. Um, you know, it's not as likely as with a, with a friend group, but you know, maybe. You do have cool friends who like this this type of shit, but I, I imagine feeling down or uh, coping with yourself as well, relating to this lyric, reflecting on your life and giving you more motivation in a sort of odd type of way. Anyways, I really enjoyed this one. Um, I don't really know which one, one was my favorite. I think that the second and the third one come really close, but I might have to go with this one because this one's just a little bit more real. Anyways, guys, uh, I still hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video. I'll check and see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys don't mind. I love you guys. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. And if you guys did enjoy this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe to my channel because you're going to post consistently. My name is Asadian, and what I will say to you is bye.